Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tosip Siddiqui and in this video, I will show you how to make a self-balancing robot using Arduino. For this, we will require Arduino, brain of the system, MPO6050 gyro sensor, L298N motor driver, you can use any other, few jumper wires, obviously a battery. And I made a small chassis using foam board. You can use any other material to make it. I use it because it is light, lightweight, less load will be on the motors. Let's start by connecting the gyro sensor to Arduino. And if you look closely, you will find that around 8 pins are coming out of MPO6050, named as VCC, GND, SCL, and HDA. These four pins we are going to connect to Arduino. And the last pin named as INT, this also we are going to connect to Arduino. So the connection will be as follows. INT will go to pin number two of Arduino, that is digital pin number two. SDA will go to analog A4 pin. SCL will go to analog A5 pin, GND and VCC will go to GND and VCC of Arduino, VCC will go to plus 5 volt of Arduino. So let's start by connecting, for that we will require 5 jumper wires, male female jumper wires. And as you can see here, I have connected male female jumper wires, so let's start by connecting the wires to Arduino. The red wire is VCC, this will go to 5 volt of Arduino, black is ground. This will go to ground of Arduino and now the SCL will go to A5 pin of Arduino which is the last analog pin of Arduino and the SDA will go to A4 pin the second last analog pin of Arduino INT will go to digital pin number 2 of Arduino which is the third pin so this is how you have to connect the MPO6050 to Arduino. Now let's connect the motor driver which will be controlling the motors. For this we will require 4 male female jumper wires and if you look closely you will find that around 4 pins are coming out of motor driver named as IN1, IN2, IN3, IN4. First two pins are enabled. A and B pin we are not going to use those. So the pins which are not connected to the jumpers are called as IN1, IN2, IN3, IN4. The first two pins control this side motor and other two pins control this side motor. So this we are going to connect to Arduino. And on the left hand side and the right hand side you will find two ports. These two ports are used to connect the motors. And at the bottom you will find that there are three ports named as 5 volt, ground and 12 volt. If you are using 12 volt battery then you have to connect the positive here and negative to ground. And if you are using less than 5 volt or 5 volt you have to connect 5 volt positive here and negative here. So we are going to use 12 volt battery so I am going to connect it to positive of 12 volt and negative of 12 volt. So let's start by connecting the wires. And as you can see here I have connected 4 male female jumper wires to the motor driver. Let's connect these wires to Arduino. The first wires in one wire will go to pin number 6 of Arduino. In the program I have set as pin number 6 and pin number 7 will control the left side motor. So I have connected IN1 and IN2 to pin number 6 and 7 and now pin number 8 here I will connect IN3 and pin number 9 here I will connect IN4. So IN1 goes to pin number 6, IN2 goes to pin number 7, IN3 goes to pin number 8, IN4 goes to pin number 9. This is how you connect the signal wires and now let's connect the battery to motor driver. I have connected two male wires together so that it becomes very easy to connect battery to Arduino and motor driver together. I'll just zoom in so that you will get a better view of it. So this is how I have connected the wires. Now let's connect these wires to the ports where we, we are going to connect the battery. So red wire I am going to connect it to the positive port written as plus 12 and the black will go to GND one wire from positive port will go to V in pin of Arduino that is voltage in pin and now one wire from ground will go to ground of Arduino 
and this is how you connect the power pins to Arduino. Now let's connect the motors to mot motor driver. So I have already uh, mounted the motors on the chassis. Now I am going to connect these wires to the motor driver. And with this we are done with the connections, now let's mount all the circuit on the chassis and then we will upload the code. Now let's upload the code and let's see how it works. Let's upload the code. Done uploading. If the robot is not balancing properly then you just have to change the values of PID I have commented it as adjust these values KP, KD, KI you just have to change these values you will get a better output you will find the link to download the code and buy all the components in the description and feel free to subscribe my channel and like the video now let's see how it works now let's turn it on and see how it works Sometimes when you turn on the robot, the robot starts going in one side, it is not balancing, then you just have to change the pins of in1 into in3 in4 which you have connected at pin number 6, 7, 8 and 9. You just have to change the pins. In1 will go to in2, in2 will go to in1, then in3 to in4, in4 to in3. then check again if it's not working then again interchange until unless you get the proper rotation of the both the motors if you're having same problem it is if the robot is very jerky then you just have to change the values of PID you will get a better output now let's change the PID values and let's see how it works again just keep on playing with the PID values you will get a better output if you don't know what is PID you will find tons of videos on PID in on YouTube in the way they explain uh, what is PID in detail and I'm not getting a proper output right now if you just keep on playing with the values you will get a better output let's see how this works Thank you so much for watching my video and in the future I will be coming with more and more interesting videos. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe button. See you soon. Thank you so much.